News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. One minute, it was pouring. Next minute, the sun was out, and that's typical for springtime. Uh, it actually warmed up near 60, but then there's a lot of cold air aloft, and that allows these clouds to billow up. You can see on our 11 and sky cam, when there are breaks in the clouds, and we're going to see more of the clearing as we go through the evening hours. Right now, 11 and at 55 degrees. Look at the wind, southwest at 15. They have been gusting over 20, 25 miles an hour through the afternoon. Still out of the southwest, now it's a mild air direction. Uh, temperatures will start to fall as we get those winds going back around in the northwest. That won't be until uh, later tomorrow. Showers will be in a few spots still early this evening. Otherwise, brisk and cooler. Temperatures falling out of the 50s back into the 40s and then down into the 30s to low 40s overnight tonight with clearing skies. It'll be a chilly night overnight, but the winds will die down. Now, it turns cloudier as the good day goes on tomorrow. The winds really pick up. Could be gusting as high as 30, 35 miles an hour, especially in the higher terrain. With those blustery winds, we're still in the 50s because they're out of the west uh, more than northwest. There could still be some isolated showers as a cool front comes through. And behind that, it gets much chillier. The cold front is back up in here, up in the northern plains yet. That comes through tomorrow. But you can see how the, the showers just started popping up like popcorn. Yeah, that's just the pot got boiling with the, the colder air aloft. But I think as the sun sets, we stop the heating of the day. We'll lose this instability. Even up in Bradford, not bad at 48 degrees. Down the 70s in Richmond, 63 in Washington. We were generally in the 50s around here today. And still, for the most part, in the lower to mid 50s. York Thomasville Airport still at 61, 57 in Lancaster. Chambersburg coming in at 59 degrees. And you see the showers, they're spotty, and they're getting spottier as we go. And that'll be the case. We go through the evening, those clouds will dissipate in the 40s by about 10, 11 o'clock tonight, and then bottoming out in the 30s to around 40 degrees overnight tonight. So a chillier night, but again, the winds die down. Now the winds really start cranking tomorrow. We're still in the 50s, but you see those spotty showers once again tomorrow afternoon. Not going to rain all day, but it wouldn't surprise me if you see a shower at almost any time in the afternoon. Blustery, a cooler day, but not bad, 50s. 40s, and that's it. A chilly day on Saturday with clouds increasing. Still watching a coastal storm, and it's looking more, as we talked about at the beginning of the newscast, more like snow with this storm. And it, some of it could even come in by Saturday afternoon or evening. Uh, there could be two pieces to this. Stay tuned. Still a lot of details to be worked out, but blustery cold day behind the storm on Monday would not surprise me. A lot of spots don't get out of the 30s, then uh, it's a chilly one on Tuesday. Chances some more showers as we get into the middle of the week. But you notice those temperatures coming back up. That is spring in the Susquehanna Valley. Yeah, it can be up, it can be down. We'll keep an eye on any of that snow. But in the meantime, keeping an eye on the roadways, here is Danielle.